This is a great exercise with a few different steps and you're going to learn about showing kindness to those people in your world that you know, that you care about, that you appreciate and also showing kindness to some people in the community around you that you don't know very well. And then we're going to take everything we learned and we're going to pay those lessons forward and we're going to make a pay it forward kindness kit. So you want to take your project number one bag and open it up and you can spread everything out because you can see there's a few different things in there. Uh, project one, lesson one is what we're going to start with. You've got a little Ziploc bag here with some postcards and then you've got this grocery bag. I'm going to start out, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the grocery bag project. So you've got a blank bag and you've got this message suggestion sheet here with some great ideas and things to write on it just to spread some joy in the community. Here's some examples of some bags that have been finished by some of our students. Very pretty, great pictures, lots of positive messages. These bags will go to McCaffrey's Market in Bluebell and they will put these bags out and some of the customers will be able to bag their groceries in them and it spreads some joy in the community. The second part of lesson number one is the Ziploc bag, which has, if you open that up, you're going to find postcards in there. So there's five blank postcards, there's a message suggestion sheet, and then a little card explaining what these are for. These are for you to write inspirational messages on them, and they're going to go out into the community. You can give them to someone secretly, or you could hand it to them, or you could just leave it for someone to find. Um, they can go to people that you know or people that you don't know, a complete stranger. So there are some, again, as I mentioned, there's the, um, the different examples of things that you can write, but here are some that have already been done. Thank you for being you. Today is going to be amazing and you make the world a better place. So these are for you to hang on to and spread out into the community. Okay, and then we have Project number two. Project number two is, we're gonna take these out. Now this is something that we're, you're gonna send back to us and we are gonna deliver this to uh, someone in the homeless community. So the first thing you're gonna do is decorate this white cup. With, again, with inspirational messages, we do have some, um, some suggestions of some things that you can write and draw on there. Then you're gonna fill your cup with the things that are inside with just a couple of snacks. So there's a granola bar, fig bar, and we have a pack of crackers. These are all gonna go inside. You'll write your name on the, on the card and then you're gonna wrap this up in, in the bag. Um, also, you'll find instructions for this as well as a spotlight on the back which tells us a little bit about, the, uh, about hunger and the homeless community and who this will be going to. So again, when you're finished with those, that's gonna come back to us. Right, and then the last step is lesson number three. Now we're gonna, we learned to spread a little kindness in the community. We learned that we might give our kindness postcards to our teachers, our bus drivers, our mom, our dad, anybody we know, or maybe someone we don't know. Maybe we just leave it in a library book at the library. I mean, we can spread this kindness all over. And then we're gonna give uh, a cup to a homeless individual, and that's gonna help out someone that we don't know that's in need. Now we wanna take all these lessons that we learned and we're going to open all of this up and spread out our items and we're going to make a pay it forward kindness kit. Now in our kindness kit we have a bag. You're going to color this bag. It says be the best you. I'd like you to color and decorate that bag and then we're going to write a little post, a little note card here. So this card which comes with these message suggestions is talking about what kindness means to me. So feel free to make this card your own. You're going to be writing this card for another student, a student in another school, and you're going, we're gonna send this along because you're basically saying to them, hey, I think kindness is awesome. I think doing these projects are great, and I think this is why it means something to me and why it should be important for you. So there's some ideas here of things that you can write to them. After you've finished, um, coloring the front of your bag. You're going to fill this bag with these items. So there's colored pencils, markers, some stickers, as well as a card pack. So you're not actually going to fill these cards out. These are going to go in, in the bag blank. And again, that's going to go, we're going to forward that on to someone else, to another student, and they're going to have an opportunity to then create some cards of encouragement and some cards of gratitude to people in the community. So um, maybe hospitalized children, police and fire personnel, senior citizens, homeless individuals. 
and um, so you'll just put that in that bag as well and all of this will come back to us right. and this too. oh I'm sorry and yes <laughs> so there are, as, as you did in lesson number one you had an opportunity to create some postcards for people in your life they're gonna have the same opportunity so this Ziploc will go in there as well so they get a chance to to forward on some positive messages to people in their life so that is the gist of the kindness program that's your little instructional video please reach out to us if you have any questions and we hope that you enjoy doing your kindness projects